can I do this this uh this next one? You and me are pretty damn equal fans of this series, and I need to use the restroom. So in this instance, I will say yes. Hell I'll be yeah. right back, but go ahead. Bronson, you're with me now. It's going to be uh, great. All right. <laughs> so Capcom recently came out and said that there's going to be a Resident Evil, not just a village showcase, but a Resident Evil showcase on January 21st, which they already confirmed is going to de- debut a brand new village trailer first ever gameplay and supposedly other announcements with the official Resident Evil Twitter account very recently starting to post gifts of classic Resident Evil menu screens, Hmm. which has led a lot of fans to believe that Capcom is finally going to port the original three Resident Evils to next gen consoles, which has been something that's been hinted at, teased at for a very long time, ever since the remake of two came out. People had been kind of, I say kindly asking, but basically screaming at Capcom to release the original Resident Evil 2 so that players can see how it was originally. And with the release of 3 and the fact that 3 wasn't what a lot of people wanted, I personally loved 3, but I can totally understand how it cut out a lot of stuff from the original. People have once again been screaming at Capcom to release 2 and 3 on 2 just like port them port them with like better five polygons i guess because the characters are made out of like five giant polygons Mm -hmm. back then but um yeah uh, originally people thought it was never going to happen but with capcom recently teasing those old school gifts and the people have noticed that the menu screens in the gifts look incredibly high res not like the original menu screens were so People are like 99% sure that we're getting more game announcements other than just Village. And also, Capcom put out a tweet saying that members of the Resident Evil Ambassadors Club, which is basically the Resident Evil official fan fan club, can sign up for an unannounced beta for something that's supposedly going to be announced at the Resident Evil showcase. Um, for those who remember, Resident Evil Resistance came out with Resident Evil 3 and Capcom did run a beta for that. So people are pretty sure we're just getting whatever the next sequel to re- re- Resistance is. But um, I am a ambassador, so I was able to look at the uh, look at the page to sign up, and it's supposedly a beta of a mode that's going to consist of four to six players. I'm really hoping for something uh, along the lines of Outbreak and not in the same arcadey sense as Resistance. Um, I'm kind of very middling on that. But but to go back to the uh, ports while i was away um I, those aren't necessarily something that i'm super actively interested in playing myself but i think in terms of preservation yeah. from a historical point of view they should absolutely make those playable because the only place you can really play those on now uh, is if you have a ps3 you download it from the store if you have a vita um, or if you somehow have the uh gamecube ports that came out like 20 plus years ago as i do that is that <laughs> Those aren't even like full on game. They just like maybe up res it a little bit. No, they so for the for the Resident Evil three one, which I remember the most because that's how I played Resident Evil three. They like added like an easy to it where when you start off the game and you get to the first item box, there's a machine gun and a grenade launcher in the item box. If I remember, okay. So it technically makes Resident Evil three a bit easier, but I don't remember two because it's been a while since I played the GameCube port of two. Have we talked about the tall lady yet? Oh, God. Twitter's already for the tall lady. (laughs) (laughs) Please tell me you've seen the tall lady, Bronson. I have. and People need to kind of calm the hell down. Twitter, uh, the the Resident (laughs) Evil account, the official Resident Evil account acknowledged the tall lady today. With like with like one of those thought thought bubble tweets for all of a sudden the thought bubble was tall lady. So I, they, um, they knew what they what they they, what they, they knew they, what they, they were they looking knew. for there yeah <laughs> they knew they knew that twitter was going to be horny for the tall lady um i think in terms of what i'm like super excited for from the showcase is like obviously resident evil mm-hmm. 8 i want more details on that um I'm, I'm, I, th- I think I mentioned it last time. I'm excited for Resident Evil to like kind of maybe go back and forth between third and first person perspectives just because just at face value that keeps things fresh. Um, I think s- the direction that Seven took is probably s- more 
in the traditional survival horror than, than the two and three remakes were, where it's a bit, a little bit more on the actiony side. Mm-hmm. Would, I would um, argue that two was a lot more survival horror than three was. Oh no, I I, I infinitely agree on that. Yeah, because like, it just felt, felt like Resident seven Evil was like 3, especially Resident Evil three was always seen more as the more actiony Resident Evil because it was the first one that introduced the the uh, dodge mechanic. And it introduced the uh, the real time choice system, which which during certain scenes that uh, your your screen would uh, pause and you would get two different options. Like oh, maybe, yeah, I absolutely maybe agree one on that front. was run from Nemesis and the other was fight him, and that was the first Resident Evil game to actually do that. So. I would argue that two is the more survival horror, three is more definitely the more action one, and I'm at least glad that the remakes leaned more towards that. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree on that. It's it's just more so that while L three is is undoubtedly more action than two, I would still say that two is more action than seven. And just and just going back to yeah, uh, the things I'm excited for is so it'd be obviously Resident Evil eight, um. The, the ports, while I'm not personally excited for them, I, I, am, I would be very happy for those to be readily available. Um, Resident Evil 4 is basically a... Uh, it, it's a badly kept secret that, that the remake is coming. And I think someone was talking to me about it earlier, or I, I think I posted like the article version of the first like game design video I had done. I was kind of reading through. I'm just like, oh, wow, I actually... I still like something I made like a year ago. That's that's that is fucking surprising as shit. But then uh, someone brought up like, oh yeah, I like how you how you highlighted the uh, why the tank controls are so central to Resident Evil 4's uh, game design. Why uh, your why your mobility is limited. Why how that plays into your actions and why enemies in the level design are made uh, t- or tailor made specifically to account for that. So what's interesting for me for Resident Evil 4 as my favorite game of all time, I, I'm i interested to see, and I, I do not think they're going to go with tank controls for the Resident Evil 4 remake. No way in fucking hell they're going to do that. So I'm interested to see how they change the rest of the variables to um, not compensate, to, to line things back up. While we know, again, worst kept secret, that the Resident Evil 4 remake is happening, I wouldn't expect to see it at this showcase and i'm saying that I, I'm, I'm just I, overly I, hopeful I, I i'm i'm gonna step very lightly around this uh i don't believe we're going to see it just strictly because that would 100 percent take away from resident evil 8 if they mm-hmm. come out of the woodwork and fully announce the resident evil 4 remake get, give us like a, a, a short teaser trailer or or something that would 100 percent take away from whatever else that they show and, and that's also a lot, trying... a lot for one present. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the, I still think it could happen, which would be fucking awesome with the shit that has leaked from the four remake. I would be baffled if they don't at least like acknowledge that it's happening. But um, well, for them, well, I think you know me. I think you know me. I'm not like generally like a hype person. I don't like. I don't like trailers. I I just want to play the things or watch the things whenever they come out. This is. This one game very specifically is the one thing I'm yeah. like, oh fuck yeah! No. I need and it. it's like, again, I can see them at least like acknowledging that it exists, kind of like how they announced that they were doing the Resident Evil Two remake back back in the day with the whole like we we do it sure or like whatever the hell it said. I can see them acknowledging the fact that that they're doing it, maybe show like a show like an updated logo. But for them to just flat out like show a full trailer, it would 100 percent take away from the resident evil 8 so i don't think we're gonna go full on as like we're going to see a trailer acknowledging it maybe that seems more likely to me than like capcom just like saying here's resident evil 8 here's another resident evil game here's the ports of the original here's here's resident evil 4 like i don't see that happening yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> uh bronson do you, are you are you a fan of resident evil any strong history with it i whatsoever? have never played one my I, god i actively <laughs> avoid those games are you, are you not a big horror person? I am or? a coward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might be able to handle Resident Evil 2 and 3, the, like, r- recent ones. Like, yeah, they have, like, scary moments to them, but honestly, I think you'd be able to handle those completely fine. 7? I don't know. Yeah. Seven, play, seven play, with the bri- play with the brightness turned up, and don't play with headphones, and keep the volume very low. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Eh. <laughs> or, yeah. actually... 
if they do end up porting the original uh, one, two, and three, those would actually be great jumping jumping on points. They aren't scary anymore. Like they're they're so old, and characters are made of like. I'll be the judge huge. of that. <laughs> but it's like honestly, <laughs> though, if you do want to attempt to get into it, those those would be great jumping jumping on points. So I oh. so I hope that they announce those for your sake. Let's see. We have some smaller Plus stories. So might as well that they totally shadow drop them. Where like they just go like, oh hey, they're out like now. On, like, I figured on, like, that, that's probably what that's probably what they would do for something like of that level. Cool. 